Beloved, it's when you allow yourself to remember, when you allow yourself to smell God, when you allow yourself to see God, when you allow yourself to hear God, when you allow yourself to taste God, when you allow yourself to know God, the God that is within, you will feel full in the places where you have felt empty. You will feel sated in the places where you have felt hungry. You will feel divinity in the places where you have longed for the touch of another, for a word from another, from the embrace of another, where you will come to find that all that you seek outside of you exists and flourishes within. When you make the decision and the choice to remember that only love is real, it becomes tangible to you in a way you could not possibly have imagined when your orientation has been that of lack, feeling that your beloved is at a distance from you, feeling that you are in a relationship that is unfulfilling, feeling that there is something that is missing from your life. Beloved, when Yeshua had said that the kingdom is within, the queendom is within, understand that everything that you long for, everything that you say that you want, that you need, that you cannot live without, exists at a place that is so intimate to your soul and it starts with a breath. When you allow yourself to surrender to your breath, rather than it feeling as if it is anything that must be forced, when you truly allow yourself to surrender to the magnificence that you are, to the divinity that you are, you find everything that you have been looking for. You are never lost, but you are found. You are never separate, but you are joined only in holiness and wholeness. There is no distance between you and all that you have created through the magnificent projection of your mind. There is only glory to behold in each and every interaction that you have, for each voice and each being that comes to you is an aspect of the divine. Have you come upon that recognition? We would ask you, beloveds, to reflect back. What if every circumstance that has ever occurred within your consciousness, what if every being that has ever been placed in front of you was a messenger of God, willing you to come and to return to the holiness, to envelop you in love, to embrace you with light so pure, so tender, so kind and so gracious, that you allow yourselves to know only the blessings. You will turn away from the madness of the mind that thinks that there is anything that is wrong, that you should be doing anything other than what you are doing, that you should be any way other than the way that you are being. And you will allow the din and the cacophony of the universe to become quieted through your breath you will notice that what subsides is the noise and the constant criticism that you hear within your own mind. You will come to allow yourself to remember who you are. And you, beloved, are a magnificent masterpiece of love and truth and light. I would ask all of you, beloved ones, to close your eyes the external world of madness that has been created in this seeming dream. To take the breath of life that is the breath of love. And as you exhale, gently allow yourself to remember the love that is within you, that all you are meant to do is to bless good, the holy, and the beautiful. The next time you encounter another beloved who seems to be contrary to you in any way, allow yourself to bless them. Look for the good in them. 
Look for what is holy within them. Look for what is beautiful about them. When you allow yourself to have a moment of transformation, to look upon something that you have considered to be dark, and you allow yourself to pierce the veil of the darkness and find the light, the beauty, the holiness, the grace, and the divinity, you have a moment of being as a Christed being. Take an inhale in, beloved one. And as you open your eyes to look around, let your consciousness light upon a particular object and see if you can allow yourself to fall in love with it. Can you love the shape of it? Can you love the size of it? Can you love the temperature of it and the texture? Can you love who it was that manufactured it or created it? Whether it was man-made, whether it was made by Gaia herself. See if you can fully embrace and fall deeply in love with this object of your affections. And in doing so, know that you can transform and transmute any circumstance in any situation. And if you come upon one that feels too gargantuan for you, beloved, call upon me and I will assist you. And once again, returning to the love and the grace and the beauty that you are. And then that will be reflected through your beloved eyes. It is that simple. Go with my love today, beloved ones, as you always do. Look for me within your heart, and indeed you will find me. Blessings to you always, precious and beloved brothers and sisters. And indeed, I will speak with you again. <laughs>